In our last video on OneNote, we began to see how we can add content to the different pages inside of our notebook. And here we want to continue that by looking at the Insert tab and some of the uh, options there. So if I click here on the Insert tab, you're going to see we've got some options right up here. And some of these are more useful than others. One option that you're going to find very useful is Table here. You can click there and just like in Microsoft Word, you can create a table directly inside of OneNote. So I can go ahead and choose the number of rows and the number of columns for my table and click and there I've got a table of information. I can drag this box out and make it larger if I want and if I add rows in here it'll automatically grow deeper. Now when you're working with a table inside of OneNote all the different tools that you're used to being able and techniques you're used to being able to use for working with tables from Microsoft Word will carry over here and if you've never worked with tables inside of Microsoft Word you can go ahead and check out our Word series of videos and uh, there are several videos on working with tables but really quickly right clicking is probably going to be your best friend here and the reason why right clicking is going to be your best friend is you've got this table option here and I've actually gone off of the screen just a little bit but when you click on table here you're going to see you have the ability to insert um, rows and columns into your table for example I'm gonna go ahead and enter some information in here I'm just gonna type some generic inform he headings so that we can tell where we are and let's say that I wanted to add a column in between total and March. All I have to do for that is right click and select the table option and choose insert a column to the left. And again when you do this you're going to see the option to insert rows either above or below. When I click that I get a new blank column in my table. So as far as being able to insert and delete rows and columns all you have to do is right click and you'll be able to add or delete whatever it is uh, that you want. Now formatting your table is going to be done on the home tab right here. So all the different things that you're used to being able to do um, with regular text you can continue to do here. For example I can highlight this and click bold and that's going to make my titles bold. Now I went back to the home tab there the tab you are actually on was underneath table tools and this tab is only going to appear when you're actually in a table if I click here in my heading area you're going to see that that disappears so the only time table tools appears is when you're actually in a table and if we come here to layout again you can see your options for inserting and deleting rows and columns right here as well as selecting different types of information You've got an option to hide the borders on your table as well as change the alignment of the different uh, um, cells here as well. So you have quite a few different options here if you don't like right clicking and going to the table menu. But I think you'll find that um, um, works very well for you. So that's how you insert a table into a uh, OneNote page. If we come back here to insert, we've also got picture and screen clipping. Now, before, when we were inserting pictures into our pages, we were copying them from either a Word document or a website. But if the image that you want is actually a file on your computer, you're going to come here to Insert and Picture. And when I click on Picture, you're going to see the Insert Picture dialog box appears. And what I need to do is I need to come down here to my class files and I put some graphics in here and I want to use the picture of the apple here right now so I'm going to go ahead and click that and click on insert and you're going to see there's my apple I can click on the apple and I can resize it by dragging from one of the corner control points you'll see how that works or I can stretch it either way by pointing at one of the side control points I can also point in the center of the image and move it wherever I want. And right now I'm going to move it to the right of this table. 
Now the table is actually larger than what I need to, so I'm going to go ahead and drag from the right hand corner over just to reduce the size of that box. So you can very easily insert, um, uh, insert images. Screen clippings, again, very, very simple. If I go ahead and click on that, you're going to see that the screen actually disappears. And I can now drag a box out around whatever it is that I want to select. And when I release the mouse, I get the screen clipping right there. And in my case, that's just a blank um, piece of my screen. I can go ahead and click on these images and also delete them very easily, just like that. You can insert hyperlinks into your document. And if I click on that, it's going to ask me what I want to link to. Text to display is going to be the text of the link. The address is the actual link itself. So I can go ahead and click here, text to display, and I can go ahead and type uh, campus homepage. And then I can click down here and I can type the address in, or I can click on one of my pages or my sections here to take me to a spot in my OneNote notebook if I wanted to. But I'm just going to go ahead and click there and type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.fullerton.edu and then click OK. And now I've got a link to the campus homepage. And you're going to see it was placed in that table because that's where my insertion point was when I went ahead and clicked on link. I'm going to undo that by clicking on this little undo button right there. If I was to have clicked down here, there's my cursor. And now I can go ahead and type in the same thing there. And again, I got to type in the HTTP there and the colon and the forward slash forward slash. There's my web address. You can also browse the web by clicking right here and choose the link that way. Or you could copy and paste it from your browser's navigation bar. I'll click OK and there is the link to that website. And if I was to actually click on it, you can see here I've got the little hand shape there that usually indicates a link inside of my document. Finally, you can insert entire files into your OneNote page. Let's say um, in one of these meetings here, there was an Excel spreadsheet that was referenced for this chart or for this table of information. All I have to do is click somewhere and then click on attach file and you're going to see an insert dialog box appears and I could choose this Excel spreadsheet, a Word document, a PDF file, whatever it is I want and insert that into the document and you'll see there's the icon and the name of the file and if I hover over it it will give me a little tooltip with even more information about that file. So if you were taking notes for a, a particular meeting and there were handouts, you could include the handouts in your OneNote page if somebody sent you um, that document. And again, this is as simple as clicking on Attach File and choosing the file that you wish to um, insert. I'll go ahead and do this Word document there. And now you'll see I've got a Word document in addition to my Excel spreadsheet. You can see I can drag these around if I want, can't actually have them right next to each other if they're in the same text box, but I can drag it completely outside of the text box if I wanted to. So I can place these links wherever I want, or these documents wherever I want. So that's how you insert a file into your OneNote document.